going on guys? Yang with Hardy Tech and welcome finally to Pokemon Blaze Black, the egg lock run. After much delay, we're finally getting started today, but before we do, that's right, a little more delay, I want to invite you guys to play along with me. Down in the description, you can find a link to the save file which you can download, as well as instructions on how to play along with me. And you guys should definitely, if you can, record your series as well, and we can have like a big community egg lock going on. I think that'd be really awesome. Um, there, apparently there isn't video responses anymore, so you can't leave your videos as a video response, but you could tweet them to me, um, Facebook, whatever, and that'd be really cool. Or, so we should, we should do that. But, yeah, okay, so let's get started. And to start off the series, we're going to be picking our very first two eggs, which were all submitted by you guys, by the way. And I decided how I'm going to be doing this is by using a random number generator. So, there's 11 boxes worth of eggs, so the first thing we're going to do is pick 1 through 11, decide what box, and we have number 2. And now the next thing we're going to do is go 1, 2, 30, and figure out which egg we're going to use, and it's 27. So our starter Pokemon, who is Tepig, is going to be box number 2, egg number 27. And by the way, the save file will already include like 900 rare candies for you to use, so if you need any more, then um, just like look up a action replay code. So first we'll do Tepig, and then we'll do Starling in a second. Oh, I gotta look at the name of this egg first before I, I take a step. So this egg is named... Um, Bugsy! Alright, so I'm gonna write this. I have like a little notepad thing open so I can write down the names so I remember how to spell them. So I don't mess that up. Um, so let's go hatch Bugsy! It's... I bet it. I bet it's a bug type. Oh man, I'd be cool if it was a Scyther. I don't know why. Whenever I think of Bugsy, I think of Scyther. Probably because of the gym leader named Bugsy. But, our very first egg for our level 7 Tepig is... Oh, it's a Whirlpool! You know what? I'm, I'm okay with that, and I want to apologize now if sometimes I forget to put the bottom screen up on top, um, but I'm just, I'm naming him, you guys aren't missing much. At first, I was really kind of debating on, oh my god, why am I nick I'm nicknaming it Whirlpool. Um, I was debating on whether or not I should have the bottom screen or the base cam um, on the layout, because originally when I made it, it was before, I, when I made this layout, it was before I started doing the face cam, and I'm like, well, the bottom screen's kind of important for DS Let's Plays sometimes. Oh, that's right, I still gotta do Starly. So, but I've, it was a comment I got on the finale of Forest Sky that kind of finally made my decision. That comment was saying like, I think, I don't know if this is exactly how it worded, but it was basically saying it's amazing how much better the face cam makes these videos. So, after hearing that, I'm like, ah, dang it. Alright, so let's randomly generate another Pokemon. This one, we'll do 1 through 30 first. This is going to be Pokemon number 5 in box number 11. Okay, so... Um, you guys could just see the top here. It's not a big deal. All you guys would be seeing on the bottom screen is like a box thing of ages. So, a box thing of ages, because that makes sense. Alright, so let's swap this egg out. Uh, it is, before we, before I forget, this egg is, summary, it is named Wolverine. Okay, so let me type that down really quick. Wolverine, I'm guessing it's something that's caused maybe a, a drillber? Um, is possible. I don't know, but after I hatch them, I will rare candy them. I'll just do that off screen because it's kind of a waste of time. But I'm guessing a Drillbur. I don't know why. Wolverine kind of gives you... Or um, Sand Slash, maybe. Or Sand Shrew. But it is a... Oh, it is a Drillbur. Wow, I was right. Awesome. Okay. So this Drillbur is going to be nicknamed um, Wolverine. So let's type that in really quickly. And now... Oh, I just realized... um. With Whirlpool, because it's going to be level 7, um, we'll actually, it'll actually evolve into whatever what it's going to be. And I, let's see, Wolverine, I have to like think here on how to spell it. Wolverine. I'm not really sure which one I would prefer it to be, Dustox or Beautifly. Um, I prefer Beautifly, but Dustox is a good Pokemon. I'm not going to take give away any... I'm going to take away any credit for that, but really quick, I'm going to go rare candy up to Pokemon, but I will show um, Wurmple's evolution on screen, so yay! Alright guys, so I'm just about to do Wurmple to level 7, and we will find out what it evolves into. Both Wurmple and Wolverine are actually holding items, and I didn't look at them, so I'll have to check that in a second, but is it going to be a Silcoon or a Cascoon? I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say which one I prefer right now, I'm going to, or which one I want it to be, considering the first gym is going to be Water. I would prefer Silcoon because then I think Beautifly gets absorbed. So let's find out. What is it going to be? Oh god. For some reason when I'm not using the speed button my emulator runs below 100% and I'm not sure why. But I don't want to like, use the speed button because this is like a big dramatic moment. What is it going to evolve into? It's... Um, I can't tell. God, why did it have to look so similar? It's... Silcoon! Woo! Yeah! Awesome. Alright, so... 
We automatically learn Harden. Now, really quickly, I haven't taken a look at the Pokemon yet, so... Well, actually, I did see Wolverine's moveset, and it's a little OP. So I might have to replace one of his moves, because they're a little powerful, but... First up, we have Silken with an adamant nature, is kind of an odd nature for him to have. And Silken has Tackle, String Shot, and Harden, so apparently whoever made the Wurmple decided not to give him Electro Web. Uh, which kind of sucks, I would have liked Electro Web. And Wolverine, I'm probably definitely going to have to replace one of his moves because it's a little overpowered. And you guys will see, he has... Wh why is it Why is it not going over? <laughs> oh, okay, I forgot. I thought you'd pressed over in this game. You pressed down Scratch, X Scissor, Shadow Claw, and Earthquake. I think he learns an, a ground type move soon, so I'll probably replace Earthquake with that because 100 base power is just a little too overpowered for this point of game. I'll probably make like a, a damage cap for moves like until maybe the second or third gym like the highest damage move I'll allow is like 80 like Xers and Shadow Claw because Earthquake 100 base power this soon it's just it's a little overpowered in my opinion so that took I'm sorry that took so long but the series is now officially started I had to I want to explain everything and yeah I hope hopefully it should take so long in the future and now let's get on with the game and I think we'll actually only be able to get two more Pokemon before the first gym and that's on the next route which I think is route 202 or no they, no they just reset in this region so it just be route 2 and then we can get the uh, elemental monkey which will be able to turn into another Pokemon that'll already be level 10 which is pretty awesome and I'm sorry I'm not reading the dialogue in this but I just I played the black like I played the beginning of black and white so many times that the Jetta speech just annoys the crap out of me and I don't think anybody watches Nuzlocks and Egglocks for the story of the game, I might be wrong, but I want to read ends because it's fun. Hey, your Pokemon, just not what I was saying. Uh, slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, yes, they were talking. Oh, you can't hear them either. You can get out of that house, Dad. My name is Ed. Uh, my name is Sharon, and this is Herdy. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we were just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. Ah, the Pokedex, huh? So you're gonna find many, 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 many Pokemon in the fire of the balls, huh? I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, already is it. Let me hear your Pokemon's voices again! Well, what about Sharon? Why can't you just hear his voices? Why does it have to be me? Oh, oh, okay, you're just gonna ignore me? That works too. Oh, okay, he's got an Encada. And I just realized Silkyun can't do crap. So, um, it looks like this is kinda gonna be. Oh, I didn't look at their items. You guys probably saw them on screen, but. I didn't, um, so I have... Let's take a look at what Drillbur has really quick, because I don't actually know. What item would someone give a Drillbur, is the thing. It's a shiny stone. Why? <laughs> why, is, why does he have a shiny stone? Bugsy is a lucky egg! Oh, nice! Awesome. I don't understand why he has a shiny stone, considering Drillbur just like... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, thank god we got that crit, because I don't think we have any potions. Um, Mankey? Um, Bugsy? Do you think you could wall a Mankey? I mean, you, you're supposed to have, like, super high defense. Do I have any potions? Do I have any healing items? I got nothing. Crap. Okay. Um, Tackle? What? Oh, crap. Focus energy. Tackle? Oh, wow, that did a actually decent amount of damage. Maybe I shouldn't have been hating on the adamant nature. Um, okay. Yeah, we got this battle, but I think he has a... Wow, another crit to finish off Pokemon. I think it's one more Pokemon. Oh, I'm going to love that lucky egg. That is going to be so useful when grinding. Okay, a pearl line. You know what? I'm going to keep a Bugsy because I want to get Beautify as soon as possible because Silcoon is really kind of crap. And I'm going to need... Well, I know I'll have a Beautify by the time I get to the first gym because I think the first gym's Pokemon are 12 and then the highest is 14. And Silcoon evolves at 10, so... Obviously have that. As long as your Pokemon can find the Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beans. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Uh, I like your broccoli hair. I, I don't know what else to say to that guy, to be honest. Yeah, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Stryton City. Aim to battle gym leader after two. Okay, you know what, Sharon? No one cares. Okay, just, just stop. We know how to play this game. So, before we continue, note to self. I need potions. I need a lot of potions. <laughs> just give me all your potions, please. Ooh, I actually have a nice amount of money. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any more Pokeballs. We should have enough for now. Because we only have to catch one more Pokemon. Like, actually catch one more Pokemon before the gym. So... I don't think I think I think I have like four I'm saying I think a lot but I believe the four Pokeballs I have should be enough and 
So I don't think we'll ever actually like come back to Spursha City. I don't think, I think, why am I saying think so much today? This is ridiculous. I can't go one sentence without thinking, I don't think, I think, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, for some reason, if your game occasionally does this, where it's like the black screen and it just sounds like it's repeating, just wait a few seconds and it should go away. I think it has something to do with like the cheat code I used for um, the rare candies. Even though I deleted the cheat code, I'm not sure why it's still doing that. So, you know, whatever. But now we can catch a new Pokemon. We also have the running shoes. So, Route 2 might be my favorite route in Unova because you get the running shoes and it's kind of amazing. I don't know, that's why I love X and Y, so you can just run right from the beginning. Yeah, you get Rollerblades later, but you could actually run. It's it's just so amazing. And we got a Wurple, and we're going to have to trade in this Wurple, though. It's only level 5, which, eh, kind of... We have Shed Skin, right? We should have... Do we have Shed Skin? I don't know. Do we? I'm confused. We do have Shed Skin. Alright, so there's a chance the Poison will go away. And if it doesn't, we'll just switch out. Um, bug Bite, what the heck? I didn't have Bug Bite. <laughs> How's that fair? Aw, oh, man, I would have loved to have Bug Bite, although, I just realized I'm going to have an Adamant Beautifly, and normally I don't think too much in Natures, but a Beautifly is a special attacker, and having the special stat lowered is going to kind of suck, so doesn't matter though, we got the Beautifly, um, I don't want to nickname it, I didn't mean to click that, and now let's head back and hatch our next Pokemon, so, once again, we use, use a random number generator, and I'm super excited about this, really quickly, let's just heal up, because I will forget to heal up if I don't do it. And now it is time to use the random number generator to pick our next Pokemon. So, let's see. For box, it is going to be number 7. And for Pokemon, it is number 4. Alright. Box 7, Pokemon number 4. I wonder what it's going to be. You guys, do you have any predictions for what it's going to be? I, I don't know. I'm so excited. So, let's switch over to box 7. Pokemon number 4 is named Lady. Okay. Let's type that down right quickly. And replace it for our level 5 Whirlpool. So whatever comes out of this is going to be level 5. Hopefully, I would love like a, an electric type would be awesome. But let's find out. I'm guessing it's a girl. Let's see. Thinking of the nickname Lady. Maybe a Ladiva. Um, curly. Or, um, sh I can't, I can't remember what, what evolves into Curly. Ralts. <laughs> wow, I feel really stupid. Um, but it's. Oh, it is Ladiva. Wow, I am on fire predicting my Pokemon today. Although I did get Bugsy wrong, to be fair. But, um, oh, I just remembered how badass Ladian in this game is. Womble, my very first Blaze Black run. Oh my god, when he evolves, he gets all the elemental punches and mock punch. Pure badass. I can't, I'm actually really excited about this now. I'm, I'm super happy. So, maybe we're lucky and he like already has the elemental moves. But I'm going to level him up really quickly, so I'll be right back. Alright, he's all leveled up, so let's take a look at Lady now. I don't know what he has, this is going to be a surprise for both of us. He's Lonely Nature, I don't actually know what that is. And he has, oh, Tackle, Dizzy Punch, Drain Punch, and Mock Punch. Oh, my god. I'll probably get rid of Tackle, Dizzy, I'm going to get rid of Tackle, Dizzy Punch, and probably Mock Punch once we get the Elemental Punches. But for now, that Drain Punch is going to be just freaking awesome. I love it. And he also has Poker Rust, which is cool. So, um, having two bug types is kind of bad we're gonna have two bug flying types i just realized that so rock is gonna be a big problem for now but we do have drover for that because drover was resist the rock but fire is well Drover. i think drover resists fire um electric is gonna be a problem but drover's immune to, wow i just realized drover is like the perfect um synergy for flying bug types ground or yeah ground is like perfectly synergizes with um bug like butterfree and um, Scyther and stuff like that, so I have to remind myself this is an egg lock, so I have to be careful, like, preferably not to die, because uh, Bugsy's level 9. I think I'll probably evolve Bugsy before the Bianca battle, because I think Bianca's Pokemon are 9 or 10, and I just. Alright, I'm gonna use my first potion here, and it's doing the black thing again. I'm gonna use my first potion here just because um, Bugsy's kind of my main priority right now. Once Bugsy evolves, then I do have that lucky egg, so I'll be able to take that off and put it wherever I want to train next. Which, oh my god, that's going to be so useful. Um, I've Whoever sent in Bugsy, I love you. You're, you're amazing. You're just, wow, okay, this, I hate my life. Oh, Shed Skin, woo! I love it! <laughs> Never mind, I don't want him to lose Shed I, He's going to lose Shed Skin once he um, evolves. And now I'm like genuinely sad about that, because it's such a good ability. But... Oh well. 
I'll have to deal with it. And hopefully he doesn't use hypnosis, or if he does, he misses. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, shed skin! Oh, I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it! Okay, so he's not evolving from this. I will switch in here, and then um, I'll switch out, cause just to get Wolverine some experience. Because I think after like the next trainer, Wurple's definitely going to evolve. So, wait, doesn't Mold Breaker mean Levitate like doesn't work anymore? I think that's what it means. Like It cancels out abilities, so Pokemon with Levitate can be hit by Ground-type moves. That's actually pretty cool. So... Trap, yep, let's switch in Wurple. I'm switch training the highest, the Pokemon with the highest level on my team. Just, I just take a moment and just think, like, how much sense does that make? <laughs> I'm, like, kind of sad. Mm. Okay, X Scissor. I think, yeah, I could live another tackle. I think that did, like, three damage. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we have 11 now. And now we have one! Oh, crap! That wasn't even a crit. Okay, okay, we can't take another tackle. Whoa. Oh my god, if we... Okay, let's potion the trap. Man, when did he become such a monster? If we lose Wolverine, I'm in trouble. Because I he's like the perfect counter for all my weaknesses right now. So, I like really need him on the team. So, I'm going to do like everything I can to keep him alive. Bugsy's level 10 now. Happy face. Don't have any more Pokemon, please. Okay, Jimmy's... Okay, here we go. Our first evolution already. We're not even 20 minutes into the series. We're already having an evolution. Technically our second evolution, but... If you want to be technical, I guess Warple kind of started off as a Silcoon since we caught it at level 7. But, wow, this is going so slow. Uh, Beautify, what moves do you learn when you, evolve, when you level up? I'm almost positive you get Absorb, which is kind of mandatory. Is it Mega Drain? I don't actually know. This is a hack. You learn Absorb. Anything else? Air Cutter. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's get rid of String Shot. Uh, maybe I should have got rid of Tack or Harden, but you want anything else? Struggle Bug. Oh, Struggle Bug is special. I didn't actually know that until recently. The Struggle Bug is special in this game. I always thought it was physical because, you know, you think like struggling someone, but for some reason it's actually a special move. So it sucks having an, an adamant nature, but it's not going to lower our, it's not going to lower our stats by that much at this level. And, um, Beautify, I believe either way, has a pretty monster special attack, at least in this hack. I think it was up along with like Butterfreeze, so Beautify is gonna wreck house. I might not even like have to use Absorb because Absorb super effective does like what, 40 base damage, and Struggle Bug I think normally does 55 or 60, and with Stab that means it's gonna do like close to 90. Let's just take a look at that really quick. Struggle Bug does 50, so with um, and Absorb does 60, so super effective Absorb does 60. And stab, struggle bug is 75, but absorb does heal damage. And okay, whatever. So basically, beautify is gonna be my special attacker, bug flying, and Ladian is gonna be my physical attacker. And then Drover is just here kicking ass. So I'm feeling pretty confident right now. But I think um, let's not bother with this pearl line. I think it's time to start training up Ladian. So. Let's take the lucky egg off of Bugsy and put it on... Why do I keep saying Ladian? I mean Ladiba. And give it to... Um, Lady. And why did I do that? I need to switch. Or I should... Or should I do Wolverine? I don't know, because Wolverine's not going to be useful in this gym. But he's useful overall, so... Well, I have plenty of time to training. I don't have to, like... I'm not going to be... I don't think I'm going to be taking on a gym this episode. I'll probably stop, like, once I get the monkey. Because I'll have to do some grinding, and that'll probably be... Well, I don't know if that'll actually be like its own story time kind of grinding because it's not exactly going to be a lot of grinding. I mean, it's going to be like maybe three levels on each Pokemon. And with the Lucky Egg, it's almost like cheating with how easy it's going to be. So, um, I might just do like a really quick grinding montage at the beginning of the next video. Um, oh my god, this is doing nothing. <laughs> Freaking Growl, is you, it's so surprising like how much Growl can lower your attack. But you know what? Don't matter now because it's dead. And, oh, look at all that XP, lady. Wait, what are you mooning? Supersonic? Nah. I don't even remember what our other two moves are. I think we had, a Dizzy Punch and Tackle, I think. Oh, dude, level 7. Keep going, keep going. Oh, I thought we could get level 8. Pidgey, um, yeah, never mind. I'm not staying in against Pidgey. I'm still trying to figure out the Shiny Stone. It makes, it just, it makes no sense. Why do we have that? But, wow, I just realized he's not hit by Earthquake. He... Resist X Scissor and he's immune to Shadow Claw. <laughs> so I guess scratch. Cool. Gust hopefully doesn't do too much. 
Oh my god, Jover. Okay, that was a crit. I was gonna say, Jover, why are you so weak? Oh my god. But no, he just. That was a crit. Jover, I don't think, actually has that good of defenses, and even Excadrill doesn't have that much. But that's just to compensate for the fact that Excadrill, like, I think most steel types are generally pretty slow. And Excadrill is just monsterly fast, and it's. Well, I think he's fast, but his attack stat is through the roof. Excadrill is just. Oh, that's doing so much. Oh. Alright. Beautify. You're, you're gonna be my ringer. As my, I feel almost like I'm betraying Butterfree, but I think Beautifly is just, it's like Butterfree reskin. I like Beautifly too. I'm gonna give Beautifly some credit. Beautifly is a cool Pokemon, um, but it's it's no Butterfly, but alright, I'm sorry to do this, but I gotta get rid of Earthquake. It's just too powerful. We'll get it later on. I just, I feel bad having it right now. Oh no, a Caterpie. Oh, I don't want to kill it. I feel, oh no, oh, it's so cute. Um, but, what was, it? okay, I'm gonna say, Beautify is definitely, like, the second best flying bug. It is just slightly inferior to Butterfree. So, now we have the rival battle, or no, I think we have one more trainer before the rival battle, but, either way, I need to heal up again. My Pokemon are so weak, it's making me so sad. Um, let's give you a potion, and, alright, so we have one more trainer, and then we have to take on Bianca, and then we could go get the Elemental Monkey, and trade that in for an egg and that'll probably call it a day so hopefully you guys I, i'm so glad we could finally get this series started because i'm not gonna lie it was getting a little annoying people like constantly asking when is blaze black starting because i tried to make it very clear blaze black is starting once forest guy came to an end and yet still every video people ask when is blaze black starting and it's just like can i just like punch all of you <laughs> getting really annoying and then once it ended um or when I started the verses with Peanut Slash, people were like, wait, dude, what happened to Blaze Black? Are you not doing that anymore? I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, it's being so annoying. I'm sorry, but you are. You, you gotta admit. And, um... But it's finally here, so you guys never, like, have to ask that question again. We can just pretend that this wait never happened. But I'm actually, I'm really happy there's just, like, so much hype for Blaze Black. Like, so many people are excited about it. That's awesome. So, um, I'm happy. Weedle, oh, I'm gonna have a lot of satisfaction killing you with, you know, I might keep Dizzy Punch. Like, I know I'll get, I'm gonna have the elemental punches and then a fighting type punch, but, um, wow, cool. I just got a Skype call. Luckily, the person, like, immediately hung up. So, why would you call me and then just immediately hang up? Out of curiosity? I don't know. That's confused. Like, I didn't even get a chance to react to that. Like, it, this guy finished one little ring. And all of a sudden, a dude's like, oh, wait, I'm, it's already, I can't call. I mean, to be fair, I don't, I don't like Skype calls, really. Like, I rarely ever go on Skype calls, and when I do, it's with, like, close friends. So, generally, when people ask, like, to Skype, I'll say no. It's not because I'm rude and I don't want to talk to you. It's just, I feel, like, uncomfortable on Skype calls, unless I, I know you, and we're like, oh, what did so much damage? What the heck? Bugsy. Oh, my God, fake out. What? I don't know how much HP we had before, to be fair, but seriously, that that was like, that was so powerful. <laughs> oh, I forgot Stronger Bug Lord's special attack. That's actually could be really useful for the first gym, because I think most, I think like all their stab moves are going to be special. So we can just like, oh my god, you got to Snivy. This isn't even fair. I'm just going to Stronger Bug you to death. It, I'm so sorry, Snivy. I like Snivy. Snivy's my second favorite Unova starter. I like all the Unova starters, but Tepig's my least favorite. Although Tepig, when I first played Unova, was the starter I used. I didn't fall in love with Oshawott for a while, but now Oshawott's my baby. I love Oshawott. He's probably my favorite starter out of, like, all six regions. Although Chespin. Ah, oh, Chespin's so adorable, too. I don't know. It's hard to choose. I don't... I can't... I'm very bad at favorites. Like, besides Caterpie, I can't pick a second favorite Pokemon. I've tried before... There's just, there's too many I like. Like, I love Levani, I like Fanfi. Um, there's, like, Pokemon in every generation. I just, I love them. And I just, I want to, like, take every single one of them and just be like, oh, you're adorable, you're going to be my baby. And then just, and but, yeah, like, well, Caterpie has the top spot reserve. I like Beautifly, he's awesome. Um, Manectric is a cool Pokemon. I really like Manectric. Why am I saying his name like that? I'm like, Manectric. I, I'm like overcomplicating his name, so. But, God, there's just there's so many good Pokemon. I feel like they really kind of. Uh, what is this, Starly? Oh, I can take on a Starly. 
I, I feel like they kind of ruin a lot of Pokemon with their Mega Evolutions. Like, Obama Snow's Mega Evolution looks incredibly stupid, in my opinion. And, um, same with Manectrix. Although, I think... Oh, no! To be fair, that I'm almost positive that would have killed whoever hit it. But man, I'm so sad now. <laughs> wow, I don't think I doubt Bugsy could have lived that wing attack either, and I know Wolverine would have died. So I guess. And I'm never gonna get a, like use a Ladean. Like right after I got Ladean in my first place, Black Nuzlocke, it died. It, like in, right afterwards, it died, which is so frustrating, because they're so good in this hack. Like normally, Ladeva and Ladean are kind of crappy, but in this hack, they get um, Iron Fist and they get all the elemental punches like right when they evolve, and it's just it's such a good Pokemon. And I guess I have to see like the hindsight, like the good thing out of this, and that now I won't have two bug flyings. So I guess that's good. I wasn't expecting the first death already, um, so that kind of sucked. But it's time to get the Hellbox. So let's nickname this really quickly. Hell. Um, why am I even using the keyboard? I could just use my mouse, and it's so much faster. So I. I really gotta put Skype on Do Not Disturb next time. I was I was doing like really good at remembering that for a while, and now I'm just doing crap again. I don't remember if I healed, so I'm gonna do that really quickly because we got one more battle before we can get a free elemental monkey that's already level 10, so I won't need to train it that much. And I'll probably train my Pokemon to 13 for the gym because I think their highest is 14, and I think that's a good balance. So, Oh, it's Youngster Joe, and you got a freaking Rattata. How freaking adorable is that? Oh my god, X scissor to the face, and now you're probably gonna. Oh my god, Wolverine! Stop being so crappy! What? How? Is. Why is he so weak? This is like almost pathetic how much damage he's taking from all these moves. What is his defense like? This. Wow, wait, how did we miss Air Cutter? I thought it had 100% accuracy. I guess not, but. Is his defense just like that bad that he can't hit any moves? Let's, I want to look at his stats really quick. Maybe he has a defense lowering nature. No, he's adamant. Okay, his defense is 12 and beautiful is 20. I guess that kind of makes sense, but still, that's really bad. Um, yes, give me a um, Pants Age, which is going to be awesome. I think. I don't remember what elemental. I think I had Pan. Poor the first time I played through this because I had Snivy as a starter, which meant, yeah, I would have got Panpour. Bear the Panpour, who died to a Mankey, which sucked. But it's now time to pick our final Pokemon for this episode. So, first, it is going to be Pokemon number 24 out of box number 4. Okay. What is it going to be? I wonder if I can predict it right yet again because I feel so smart. I predicted the first. Um, well, I predicted Lady and. Wait, what was it? 24? So that would be. Uh, six. That'd be this one right here, which is Victoria. Ooh, Victoria. I'm not sure what that could be. That's not really specific. Um, Pan Sage is level ten, so I don't know. I have absolutely no prediction on what Victoria could be. I'm guessing it's a girl. I think I'm gonna get that part right. But Victoria is a Clear Pearl. Okay. Um. Not the most useful thing right now, but it'll it'll probably be useful later. So, clan. I'm naming it its name, man. I'm. Just, it's the same thing I did with Whirlpool. Um. Why am I clicking you? I'm just horrible at life. Vic. Ah. All right. So I'm gonna put this thing up to level ten really quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so apparently between 1 and 10, Clamperl doesn't actually learn any moves, but is holding an item, so I'm guessing whatever it's holding is what this person wants me to evolve it into, which is a um, Damp Rock. Or not. <laughs> Never mind, it's Adamant Nature again. We're getting so many... I just think people, like, don't remember to change the nature. But it is Shell Smash, Muddy Water, Clamp... What does Clamp do? 35 base power, 85 accuracy, and 
Oh, okay, so it's like Bind or Rap in Rain Dance. So, um, I think what normally uses self smithing. People normally run self smash on Goribus, but I don't even know where you get the evolution items for Clan Pearl in this game, so I'll have to look that up. And an Adamant Nature is really going to kind of suck, but I think, um, isn't Huntail a physical attacker? So maybe we should consider what am I doing? I don't even know. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Um, next time we'll be taking on the first gym. We'll probably have a little mini grinding montage at the beginning of the video. But until then, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button below to show your support for the start of a brand new egg walk that's finally here. So stop asking. Until next time, I'm already taking yo-yo. Peace. Bye.